ni aje wase mimi ni moha graphics mimi ni mchoraji wa magari mtu wa kutengeneza magari yani kila kitu about magari na niko katika hasoli yetu au sio jamaa oh my that's good that's really good job yangu ni ya customization za magari kila gari from matatu pikipiki gari ndogo buses anything walls i do walls portraits and anything creative nafanya Ni, ni kitu nilianza kitambo because from 1990 91 nilikuwa natoroga hizi stickers na uza kwa ma so from there bado nimeanza shule sasa nika nikaandikwa job sisi mati nilianza tu wakati nilimaliza shule niliandikwa niliandikwa job nikafanya fanya ma job but hazikunipatia satisfaction so ndo nikaenda nikona the only place naweza fanya hii art yangu na mimi niko napenda art yangu ionekane so ndo nikaenda kuanza kutora kwa ma because nilikuwa na ile urge ile kitu tunafanya watu waone watu appreciate so ndo nilianza hapo kwa ma but haikukuwa rahisi pia tukianza ilikuwa pia ngumu sana because nilikuwa sijui kitu tunafanya nilikuwa na guess vitu mingi mpaka mwisho Mungu akanisaidia yani what I was trying to get out of my head nikaanza kuona creation yangu na ndio hii sasa imefika hapa sasa hii kufika mahali kuna ile step ya chini unaanza project yangu ya kwanza ile nilifanya okay kwangu ilikuwa poa but kila mtu alichukia ikafutwa na pesa yangu ikaenda hivyo eh but project hiyo ilikuwa ni reason watu wali watu walichukia because it was something different si kitu kila mtu alikuwa anaweza haikukuwa kitu watu washaiona before because it was a totally different kind of creation na at that time people want, didn't want to to yani to embrace anything new. Unajua shida yetu sisi tunaogopa ku create. Na the moment tuna create kitu mtu anaweza iona akiangalia in a different perspective anaona ni kitu mbaya. But at that time people hawakuwa na jua graffiti ni nini. Na vile nilifanya it was something very new. People were confused. Mwenye alishtuka na na watu wale pia walikuwa pale because walio nini kitu different na hawa watu walikuwa nafanya so mambo mingi na nini kawaida kila mali kuna politics na ndio hivyo ikafutwa but si ku give up it was really hard you can imagine unafungua biashara ni kama una, una, unafungua duka unafungua duka alafu the first time tu umefungua duka after two days imeibiwa unaweza unaweza give up but the moment una believe kuna Mwenyezi Mungu you will never give up na una work harder process every day is a day of creating new things miss stop to think sometimes i become mentally tired because of overthinking about things to do what to do how to make it better how to make it different how to make it unique uzuri ya creativity na art ni kitu is everlasting art ni kitu haiezi zeeka so naweza sema from when i started na now ndio tume create more designs more uh, unique things to, kama kitambo tukianza tulikuwa tuweki magari tv but sasa hivi tunaweka ma tv sasa hivi tunaweka vitu mingi so ina depend pia na technology na trend ziko lakini mimi one thing with me and my style i never follow trends i always create the trends mimi na create kitu watu wafuate because unaambiwa don't blend in always stand out so mimi upenda ku stand out i don't like blending in skill ndio kila kitu ukiona skill kuanzisha kitu inakuwa rahisi because utakuwa na convincing power because ya skill yako plus na u, ile kitu umefanya alafu from there now before starting any kind of business malimi ni fail wakati nikianza si kuanza na capital but nezaambia mtu yote kitu ya kwanza kuwa na skill at least get capital ndio sije kakukula baadaye because sisi litukula sana because ulikuwa na wa kama hand to mouth unapata job hiyo pesa unatumia kununua material ikiisha unarudi zero tena unaanza hivyo but unajua ukiwa na capital uko na pesa ya ku rotate una get sasa hata una do at least uko na profit ndio ulitengeneza so ilikuwa wakati nikianza ile profit nilikuwa nimemake 
ndio hiyo nanunua material nanunua kama machine na nini kitu naweza tamani Mungu akinipatia nguvu na uhai I want to open my own school ndio at the moment nafundisha vijana but nataka Mungu akinisaidie if I get funds au mimi mwenyewe nikijiweza nifungue shule yangu where itakuwa the students wale wengi nimefundisha were part of the teachers mimi nikuwe hapo na pia ni expand business yangu into other counties other countries na kama ni all over the world naweza shukuru Mungu sana watu wakitaka kunireach niko na Facebook niko na Instagram kwa YouTube na pia kando na graphics mimi niko na production yangu ya, ya music videos photography videography inaitwa West Pangani ndio tumeanzisha imekuwa for some time but now we want to push it because kitu mimi na believe kuwa uplift talents mimi na believe kuwa wakati yetu mimi sikupatiwa chance ya kufanya vitu mingi wakati hiyo kitambo ulikwenda kufanya kitu unaambiwa ai hii kitu wa uwezi wewe ah huwezi but now mtu anakamna idea tunafanya unaona na si pesa ndio everything ile ujanja yako uko nayo una push una push na everything ni Mwenyezi Mungu the more una believe in god and the more una rely on god kila kitu inakuwa rahisi na bado we need more young boys wakuje wale wakuna talent ya videography photography tunashikana because the more watu wata get skills the more watu wata, wata get income na the more watu wanapata income wanatoka kwa streets na hii hii West Pangani is all about the youth si mimi mimi hata mimi napenda photography na hiyo ndio reason nili, niliona to partner na hii hii uh, production company because inanipatia ile pleasure sasa ile siko kwa hii job yangu niko na something ile inanifurahisha mimi